Hey, what's going on, everybody? Today on Booming Success, we're going to be talking about why Gas Buddy is awesome and why you should have it on your phone, why you should be looking at it on your computer, and why it provides some of the best gas prices around, period. Most of the time when I'm out and about and I need gas, believe me, I am on Gas Buddy. And without Gas Buddy, like, no way. Like, it's completely useless. Like, across town, it could be 20, 30 cents cheaper. It's happened to me before. Other gas stations have not transitioned their prices. Like, I remember when gas stations recently were like a dollar seventy one, a dollar eighty one, but up the road in town, it was like over two dollars. They didn't transition yet. Now, a big thing about that, like 20 cents. You may say to yourself, well, 20 cents, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. But I'm going to tell you straight up right now, every 10 gallons per 20 cents is $2. Now, imagine if you had a truck and it required over 20 gallons to fill up. 20 cents. That would be $4 more per 20 cents. And per 10 cents, it's a dollar more per 10 gallons. And it would be $2 more for 20 gallons for like a truck or an SUV. So believe me, Gas Buddy has saved me tons of time, tons of money over the years. It's ridiculous. And if I didn't have Gas Buddy, I don't know what I would do without it. And believe me, I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, but I freaking love their app. I love their website. I love everything that they do about it. I'm here just to provide you why this, this app is awesome and why you should be using it. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up, with Gas Buddy, if you are on a trip at all, like you're talking two, three hours, any major trip whatsoever, your wife, your kids, your husband, whoever needs to be checking for gas prices along the way with Gas Buddy, I swear to you, depending on where you're going, if you're going into a bigger town or or if you get on Gas Buddy and it kind of gets you towards a little bit of the outskirts, not immediately off the highway, but you just like maybe a couple miles down the road possibly, you could save immense amount of money on gas. Like where I live, like if you get off the interstate where I live, like one of the first gas stations, usually they're like 20, 30 cents above everybody else in town. So literally if the guy would literally just drive like a mile or two up the road, like up to Walmart or something like you would save a lot of money. Like I talked before, like you'd be saving two, four uh, dollars per trip. And you may say to yourself, well, that's not a lot of money. But think about it like this. Over time, believe me, if you started putting that into a savings account over the years, it would turn into something. Believe me, it is important. And it's like one of the best apps to have on your phone. Period. I know I've said that before, but I just love it so much. And when you're out and about, like 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 I said, you can update the gas prices. If it's not the same price on the app, if it's cheaper, if it's more expensive, let everybody know about it. Like, why wouldn't you? You already have your phone in your hand. There's a reason you're at that gas station. You've made the effort. You might as well take the two seconds just to update the price. Why not? You're saving people time. It takes you one second, maybe two seconds. Like, is it really worth the convenience for others? I guess it is. I guess it isn't. But honestly, you're already there. It's well worth it. It really is. Now with Gas Buddy, there are a couple filters that you need to know about. You can filter by distance, like to get the lowest price, or you can filter by price. Like, no matter what the distance is, I'm getting the lowest price regardless. Now, that's a great option for vacations and trips. Now, if you've got to go 20, 30 miles out of your way to save like 5, 10 cents, don't do it. Because at that point, you've literally driven like 40 miles just to save like half a dollar or a dollar. It's not worth it at that point. But just try to come to a consensus of like a radius of 5 to 10 miles from your house. Like what's the best price? Because that's what I would do. That's what I personally do. And if you can save 20 to 30 cents driving five miles up the road, that's worth it. Now, 20 miles, like I said before, it is not worth it at all. 
I would not bother with that unless you're on a vacation. Now with Gas Buddy, if you go to a Walmart gas station, you probably already know this. It is a big deal. You need to go into the store, okay? You need to get a gift card. You need to calculate. Like my car on average uh, takes 12 gallons to fill up. So I'll calculate for 12 gallons. I mean, you if you want to do the full tank, usually my car is about a 16-gallon tank. Take your calculator out on your phone, okay? And say, for instance, the gas price is two fifty four. Well, if you have a gift card from Walmart and the Murphy gas stations, you can save three cents. So it's now it's two fifty one. That's even better. And per every ten gallons, that's thirty cents. Now that's not a lot, but you're already in Walmart. You might as well commit to it. Just get it done and over over with. Especially if it's the cheapest, you might as well. You know, that's how I do gas. I calculate it with my phone and then I might round it up. So say, for instance, it's like, uh, you know, 20 to 78 for 12 gallons. Maybe I'll do $23 to be on the safe side. And like I said, maybe you want to do the full tank of your car. Like my car's full tank is 16 gallons. Now, it's very unlikely that you're going to use an entire tank of gas. And if you did, that's terrible. You really don't want to do that. Like, you start getting into the final two or three gallons of your car, and it's like eating up all that crud at the bottom of the tank. You, I'm not a car expert, but trust me, that's not good for the car. And then if it completely dies, it's definitely not good for the car. You don't want to do that at all. Oh, no. And obviously, when you're driving... Highway mileage is the best MPG. Like, honestly, like I drove like 120 miles, like in a 99 Sable, like Mercury Sable. It's kind of like an average sedan. That's usually what I drive, like maximum maybe 30 MPG miles per gallon. And I think it was only three, four, five gallons max from just 120 miles. You talk about efficiency in highway driving. That's excellent. Now, if you're doing all this town driving, oh no. Your gas is getting sucked up. Period. And I mean, it's just terrible for the go- for the car. Stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. And especially when you're turning on your car over and over and over and over and over, that's bad for it too. Okay, I'm not an expert, but at the same time, like if you keep it at a steady highway speed, you're gonna just going to do better on fuel economy. It's going to be less wear and tear on your car. It's going to be better for gas, better for your money, better for everything. I usually just set my car to cruise, and I'm ready to go. Now, like I said before, it's not the most savings in the world. But gas, buddy, it saves you money. And sometimes you can beat the gas price changes of 20 to 30 cents. In like your town, in your local area. And at that point, like, it's worth it. Like, like, over time, like, you're going to save so much money. Like, if you were to actually keep track of it over the years, the months, I guarantee it would be a substantial amount of money. And you could put that into a savings account. Like, say, for instance, the stuff that you were going to spend. And then, I mean, that might help you. That might be an emergency fund, so to speak. If you do not have Gas Buddy on your phone, I mean, honestly, take the time, check it out. I'm not affiliated, but I am telling you right now, Gas Buddy is freaking awesome. You need to be taking advantage of it, and you need to be using it. Now, I first discovered Gas Buddy back when I was in college. There was this gal that came up to me. She was uh, part of the college newspaper, and she was like, have you ever heard of Gas Buddy? I'm doing a story about it. And I said, no. But you better sure bet I found out about Gas Buddy and how much I freaking love it and how much you're going to love it too. I am going to do my best to upload almost every single day. If not every day, we are going to do at least two to three uploads a day. I want to throw this right on my channel, left and right and all over the place for you guys. I hope you're enjoying my gameplay in the background. If there's a particular game you'd like to see, please let me know. Please let me think what you think of the gameplay. 
Is it okay? Look, I'm not very good, okay? I'll be straight up honest with you. I'm no professional, all right? And also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm thinking about also doing a series of stuff like I don't like, like like reasons I don't like uh, shopping at Walmart, Target, Kohl's, JCPenney's, so on and so forth, different apps, different games, different systems. And also, more awesome videos. If you like this video, it's going to be on the awesome playlist. If you like what you've seen here, hit the bell. Leave me a comment. Like the video. And most importantly, subscribe. And keep checking out the videos. Check out the playlist that I've been putting up on my channel. I've just started here, but I'm not stopping. I just I love YouTube as much as you guys do. I watch it three to four hours a day period. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.